Hello. So this was uh, so today we'll be discussing about uh, and the post is about MNIST. So first, let's talk about what MNIST is all about. So the MNIST database is basically the database uh, which has handwritten digits. It has uh, close to sixty thousand samples uh, of training sets and ten thousand samples of uh, test sets. Although they are like several this is the main website of MNIST and if you actually see at each and every image it is 28 by 28 pixel boxes and uh, the database is all given here like you could just download that um, but there's one more website which is this website I'm going to put these links uh, in the description below so this this particular website is given the same database in the form of CSV format so which would be something like this so this is probably i think that i downloaded it was probably like 108 mb i guess so this is how it actually comes if you see the way it's arranged so this is 785 so 28 by 28 since we said 28 pixels it would be 28 by 28 uh, which would come approximately to how much was that 784 and this one more extra row uh, this is nothing but label set since we since all this today we are talking about the su supervised data so this is the label which gives so this particularly means that this whole row pertains to the digit 5 so as you can see uh, you can just imagine this is 28 by 28 grid or a matrix and uh, you could see the numbers between 0 and 1 where 0 indicates a completely white box and one indicates a completely black box something like that so this is a label data set so now let's and the code and all you've seen that so this is basically uh, what you've seen the code here you could just publish it from here and then publish which is all known to us now let's go to the classification thing so basically how do you go to the classification thing is here you have apps and here and one such app is classification learner which i've already opened oh yeah like this yeah so the classification learner is right here and one more point that i would talk uh, i would like to talk about is this one probably all of you should have seen this but i'm not sure how many of you know this this is known as parallel pool so this just uh, utilizes multiple ports or gpus on your cpu and makes the program run much faster and this is very useful for this since we're dealing with a lot a uh, huge size of data set for example if you see here this has this has like 785 columns and the rows are 60,000 so this is such a huge set and we definitely need gpu so yeah so i've just gone to the classification learner here create a new session and then uh, select the data from there and then you know all the stuff to be done and then um, select the data and basically the if you come here and see here we see it's 28 by 28 which comes up to how much was it 784 right so which indirectly means that we have 784 dimensions so that is what i've assumed here the predictors are 784 your variables go until 784 and the output And if you come to the output, output is the first column that I've put here. So that is nothing but response to classes. And we all we all know that the numbers are from 0 to 9. If you actually check here, there's one way that I can where I can show you that thing. Let's go to filter here. If you see the, all these are nothing but the classes. So we have from 0 to 9. And the same as indicated here. And then you just go select here which classification method you would like to use i used all truth to train and then uh, it takes some lot of time and then since we used the power of gpu it took like approximately 11 to 15 minutes i guess and although yeah i've cancelled these things because these were taking a lot of time like especially the core scale in core scale in uses like 10 neighbors so calculating the Euclidean distance for all the 60,000 points is a very big thing. So I just did that thing. 
so the tree accuracy was not bad it was 80.8 let's just check about how we, how we did this the performance of this thing so you are, all these are nothing but the performance or plot indexes that you can actually see so this scatter plot is basically you can plot the whole thing for feature versus feature since we have a lot of features this is not much useful but we all know ROC curve is really important so the ROC curve is nothing but the region under the curve or region operating curve here all you can see for all the classes that we have let's go for class 0 I don't think this is for 0 let me put something here you could probably get some idea regarding the class with the AOC thing and confusion matrix is one such good measure along with ROC so this basically tells this is all the predicted classes and this is the true class for example all the green ones are the true ones which we need for this plot example uh, the when the true class was actually zero and our model predicted it to be zero eight eighty nine times and these are all the times that it did not predict correctly so you can see all the things so why do you use this you, you can actually use this to gain an idea of which class is not trained or which is not trained so perfectly if you actually compare all these things you see class 8 the value is just 693 so it was six only six correct for only 693 number of times and the same thing can actually be proved here let's which number was it again it was number 8 let's go back to number 8 Well, actually, I don't know why it's taking a lot of time, but this 0 0.94 was actually point for 0.94 was actually for class eight, and rest all had like more than say more than what you call 0 0.98 sort of things. If I'm right, yeah. So yeah, make sure you guys use this use parallel port to activate that thing, and after you're done with all this, is after you see all these things, then you go to export model then you have three options you can either convert it to a code which i've done and presented the code to you guys that was the way you could do it or you have two other points to do and i'm so sorry about my performance there are a lot of tabs that i actually generally use all the time so so while this is loading i just want to talk about pca pca is the principal component analysis and this you use wherever you have whenever you these are used for basically the dimension reductions here if you see the dimensions that we had was 20 28 into 28 which was like really huge so what pca does is basically it reduces the dimensions by plotting all the data on the base so how this basically works theoretically is you do you take out the covariance matrix and then you take out the eigenvalues and select the largest eigenvalue and then you plot all the data on that eigenvalue line passing through that eigenvalue yeah i think it's working now so i'm so slow my bad so yeah it was actually for some other class it was 0 0.99 for class 8 it was 0 0.94 in case and i just wanted to tell you that oh i think it's going slow okay good and yeah this validation in all these terms you basically come across when you are dealing with uh, pattern recognition so you generally validate or do cross validations to prevent overfitting of your modeling and this works hopefully was the main thing that I just wanted to show you guys the performance parameters and and actually I did test it I'm not sure if I can see something yeah so I test after I got the result I did test on MNIST2 which I just took like 10 samples and then tested it and then this was actually the result that I got and I guess my thing was right 
out of all the 10 it was right the 9th time so it's like 90% efficient well you could just play with all these things I guess the data that I trained was really less by the way so let's come back to it yeah so if you see the training set actually as we discussed had like six was it six, 60,000 samples and the test set had 10,000 samples but I did the other way I did train it on the test set and uh, although I didn't test it on the whole train set I just took like 10 random samples from here and then checked against it and then I got like 90% efficient so this is just an introduction to these things in case you guys have any doubts then you can you guys can just comment below thank you